Joining us now is a former chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee and the senior senator from the great state of South Carolina, Lindsey Graham. Senator, you and I talk about yeah. the justice system all the time. There are parts that should be reformed, but setting bond for yeah. career offenders who absconded from the sex offender registry would not be what we're talking about. Yeah. And number one, what does it take to lose your license in Wisconsin? Was this guy driving legally? I mean, there's so many things to talk about here, but, you know, you did a really good job of making this case real. What do you say to the family of the victims? How do we go to them as a nation and explain to them that this man was allowed to be loose given his criminal record? Uh, the chickens are coming home to roost when it comes to crime and the radical left. It is fashionable in blue states and liberal districts to be soft on crime. It is not fashionable among the average American to allow this to go on and on and on. So we need to vote to leave. Congresswoman Tlaib has a bill to empty all the federal prisons by 10 years. Uh, mass incarceration needs to go, regardless of apparently what you did because of COVID. And uh, the, some squad members want to do it with cash bail. Let's vote on this. Let's take this issue to the House and the Senate and see where members of Congress and the Senate would vote. I'm going to stand with the cops. I'm going to stand with making it harder to get bail when you maul people over and over, not easier. I want to play a clip for you, Senator. I'm going to get your reaction on the other side. When they read out all of the charges that he had prior to what he did on Sunday, it, it made me sick to my stomach. And then to hear him start crying when the judge mentioned that these carried a life sentence, to me it was selfish that he did that, that he was worried about himself. You know, Senator, you mentioned members of the squad, bond reform. Yeah. You mentioned uh, Rashida Tlaib. Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah. you know as much about the federal prison system. I mean, th think about who is in federal prison that she wants out in a decade. I mean, the, the Boston Marathon bomber, yeah. the Unabomber, Terry yeah. Nichols, for people who forgot who Terry Nichols is in Oklahoma City. And then on her own state of South Carolina, yeah. I'm almost right. positive Dylan Roof is on death row, is he not? Yeah, I mean, Matre, the, the, this is insane and crazy and dangerous. 2022 is going to be a very dangerous year for America if something doesn't change. Terrorism is on the rise. We have rampant inflation. If we pass Build Back Better, it's just going to throw gasoline on our inflation problem. We have a broken border. You've got Iran about to break out with their nuclear program, putting Israel in a box. And here at home, you've got all these crazy people pushing laws that make it harder to prosecute people, to let people out who should be in jail. And look at what's happening throughout California where people are going into stores and cleaning out the place. You know, thousands of dollars are being taken by these flash mobs and whatever happens to them. This started with defunding the police. This concept of defunding the police has sent a signal to criminals that there are no more consequences when it comes to breaking the law. And people are not afraid of breaking the law anymore. People are emboldened to break the law. So in South Carolina, where we live, you try, you try this crap here, you're going to go to jail if you're lucky. You say it's uh, going to be on the ballot in November. Um, yeah. I hope that Republicans can quit fighting with one another long enough. I mean, this is a great issue. This is a, this is a yes. fantastic issue if we can focus on that instead of the other nonsense. A amen, Trey. I mean, listen, we're the party of having the cops back. I'm, I'm all for judicial reform. I'm all for police reform, but I'm not for letting this guy out of jail when he should have been in jail years ago. I'm not for letting people ransack uh, you know, stores and have no accountability. I'm not for doing a cash bail. You know, the modern Democratic Party is soft on crime and weak on terrorism. And if, we're, if we as Republicans don't talk about that, then that's political malpractice. The Democratic Party is giving us an issue where the American people are on our side. The enemy is not federal, uh, federal Republicans. The enemy is the radical left who's driving the Democratic Party down an insane road, making us less safe and less prosperous. And we 
need to push back. And if we win in 2022, all this crap stops. Kevin McCarthy never lets these bills come out of the House. And I can assure you, if I'm chairman of the Judiciary Committee or any other Republican is chairman of the Judiciary Committee, we're going to have hearings about how you can loot a store and nothing happens to you. We're going to have hearings about how a state can let a guy like this out after all of his criminal record and why you would set bail at $1,000. $1,000 bond. It's hard to believe. Senator, I do hope you uh, and your family had a good Thanksgiving. I look forward to seeing you in yeah, person soon. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Hanukkah to our Jewish friends. Thank you.